welcome back to yet another video so this is part of the interview series where we talk to the different people or role players in the software engineering space so today i have my friend Wanang and welcome hi <laughs> thank you for inviting me darling okay so we're just gonna get straight into it okay so describe what it is that you do without saying what it is that you do i give instructions to a not so smart thing <laughs> so what do you love the most about what you do i love i actually love the end product of what i do i don't like the okay the process because it's a win at the end of the day okay. but with a lot of like frustration and all of that but i like the end product like getting something from requirements and seeing the end product of it all that's what i love ah okay nice okay so what did you study well i studied a vcom it management uh, degree okay so how do you like calm yourself when like your code is not giving when it's not like doing what it's supposed to be doing or when you like have like a high priority task that you're working with and there's so much pressure around you so how do you like calm yourself so i with a uh, high priority events and all of that i stay calm because it doesn't help you um panicking when everybody's panicking so what i would do is i'll get a call or oh, this the system down and all of that mm -hmm. and i would just oh okay cool let me get up and wake up sometimes it comes in at like two o'clock in the morning and all of that mm -hmm. so i would wake up and keep calm because it doesn't help to panic when mm. everybody's panicking and about your phone calls and your emails during a few, <laughs> few yeah, okay, but, but I answer them periodically yeah like, but like I feel like some, it's much better now that it's like the, the whole okay. coronavirus thing like there's no one physically next to you asking you every five minutes like yes. how far are you and stuff so yeah. yeah but I think the best thing is just tell them that you also trying to look at it like there's nothing if there's no feedback to be given but no feedback is still looking into it try to give feedback true at uh -huh, but, uh, but, but anyway <laughs> It's easier said than done, but keep calm. <laughs> keep calm, it's already down, so it doesn't help you. So. Uh, <laughs> true, true. Okay, so um, what is your favorite like software engineering concept um, that you feel like is very cool? Okay, my favorite concept thing, um, programming concept, has to be the open close principle, which talks about uh, code as as should be open to extension but close to modification. And what I really like about the open source principle is that it, uh, you don't really create existing code, just extend it um, to it because sometimes it's so easy to just put your functional method inside of a class mm -hmm. instead of extending it and then now the whole application is done. And now we have the P1 again. You know <laughs> because what of I you? Where I went, where <laughs> I went, you would just violate it. That is, that is like a really, really good principle, especially in a very big organization where there's like a lot of developers. Absolutely. You wouldn't want to be breaking existing things yeah. and then now you spend time <laughs> debugging. Because now if, if five people worked on like something, now you don't know where the problem is. You don't know whose code broke what. Yes, now it's like it's, it's a lot. Yeah. <laughs> and especially when it's coming from like a shit class and then everybody's like, oh, no. Yeah, then, you, to this thing, no, we didn't have like did we have with us okay we had like something okay so what app do you feel like um it was do you feel it was lazy when it was designed or when it was created and do you feel like you could like do it in a day or two so i'd say all the two do apps all the two apps you just put a box there and you put a, 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 a what is it a label or what next to the checkbox then it doesn't help and or maybe you be fancy and push a notification cover you say you will do you will do this, this the, uh, like, like a oh, memo pad and all of those yeah, yeah. <laughs> you want to just take your programming <laughs> skills <laughs> to your app. All my, of them. the one app i create you remember the the Yes, it had a memo section and I was like, it's going to send a notification that's hello, you have a homework. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I was like, this, this is simple. Absolutely. This is simple. Even these new ones, 
thickening uh, the affirmation one where you just uh, push like I've not I've I, not I've not downloaded any of them. Do they not want you to pay for them? No, I don't like paying. Yes. You see that's the thing. I won't pay for the affirmations. <laughs> I will go Google what today's word of the day. <laughs> <laughs> I tried some like self therapy so many as have I know you know must like enter details uh, seven day free what I'm like last night, you know. We're just uploading text and then that was made for that. <laughs> exactly. I, uh, you can just go and check any random thing and find motivation for exactly, the day. Exactly, exactly. So if you were to give your young self like advice um, on career and education, what advice would that be? So I I'll start with the education part. Mm -hmm. On education. So I, on education, I would have researched uh, what I want to do. Okay, I mm, kind of mm -hmm. what I want to do from education, but I also started to do some things. I think I remember that. And, and so uh, now I'm a student too because of that. My, I would have made proper career research, but mm. I think not. Do you think you would have thing. like done the same thing? Had you yes. done proper? Yes, absolutely. I did and all. Oh, I was thinking you would be the operator and I'll be a TA, you understand? So I never, I never had that confidence in the question of really not doing a concert with you. You don't need to be a software developer to see all these concerts in place. So I didn't know I could do it. Yeah, so I would, I would, I would have honestly uh, uh, contribute more into the project as we do in the learning Like, what do you spend most of your money on? Like, okay. What I spend my money on, I spend my money, my money, most of my money on trying new experiences mm -hmm. like, like going out to the latest restaurant, going out to the latest sports team, but yeah, that's it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. 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 Ye
bread will be my definition of that. Oh. And the money will come, will always come. <laughs> Darling, I mean, always, over time. Always. Okay, so now for like bonus questions. Um, so they like not, not like mm. career, what they, they're just personal things today that I felt like they were a bit like, would be good to know. Okay. But even though like some of the these things, I, I know what the answers are and I've always like had like the similar, like a pattern where everyone always feels the other options. But anyway, let's get straight into it. So do you ask enough questions or you settle for what you know? <laughs> Asking questions of it depends. No, I in the majority of the time. Do you ask or you just settle for what you know? I be it at work, be it I in said, life. I Google everything actually. I actually Google everything about like I I Google Like why didn't I like text back? Uh, uh, or how to get over all of my work? <laughs> Uh, how to get over how to heal a broken I am also like this. I always, I like, like Google is not a person. Okay, but like let's say okay, so okay, in so general, no, I don't settle for you always ask questions. Yes. If it means you must ask someone, you ask the question. Yes. Oh, okay. I didn't think you would say that. I, 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 would, would, you know. I would. It's it, 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 it harder to go and research or uh, stay with people in doubt. It's much easier to go out for uh, the answer. Yeah, true. Mm-hmm. I agree. Okay. So, do you prefer loud neighbors or nosy neighbors? I prefer loud no- uh, neighbors because I'm the nosy one. I like, I'm the new, oh, people's drama. I prefer them to be loud so I can hear them and shut. Okay, that's a loud good. That's a good answer. By being noisy, too. I'm always entertained. Like, uh, what I love for what I don't like. So, when they make loud, when they loud, then you know what's happening yeah, on the other side. And then they start moving away. I'm like, dude, I want to <laughs> conclude all this. Thank you, man. I'm the Okay. <laughs> My other friend was like, no, I don't want a walking camera. <laughs> uh, I'm the one. Yeah, right. He's like, yeah. okay, so, like, you know, this other lady was like, it never the one piece of that. Too much. If it's not happening, you Because, like, I don't have drama, so you'll be my drama. <laughs> And, and then, true. <laughs> which makes it juicier. Yeah, and then, okay, so false hope or unnecessary anxiety? Oh, that's a hard one. False hope or unnecessary anxiety? I, 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 I will go with the hope but false hope because unnecessary anxiety and then that thing doesn't happen now you will at least then but what if you thought it was it like it was happening and then boom it's not yo that is um, but I feel like that is more hectic being scared of something that's not gonna happen it's, it's worse i'd rather have hope and like if it and didn't then it happen does. It hurts, but like, it imagine happen. like false hope is like I believed in this thing and then yes. it doesn't happen. Yes, you, you have to have dreams and but if it doesn't happen, it hurts. Yeah, but mm-hmm. the unnecessary it just paralyzes True. going for things you don't do. You do you do you live a life of you get it. Uh, like I feel like that's my life. Mm-hmm. I have unnecessary anxiety. Yeah, I think it will paralyze mm-hmm. you over there on money because you are thinking of all the unnecessary things. That are not like they not, not even happen, like no. it, they not even in the picture. Exactly. You are just DJ. Mm. Oh my god, that is so true. Actually, like absolutely, I must have false hope, basically. Not false hope, but, but those the are the <laughs> options, also, girl. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's the only one because I was just like, um, uh, yeah. Mm. But anyway, so anyway, also she also has a YouTube channel, but she doesn't want to upload videos. Just by the way, so, <laughs> so maybe. Hard. This will Maybe. be like pushing. This will be your what, 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 what. Okay, so mm-hmm. where do people find you? If someone also did like become IT and they probably would want to, you know, get um, advice from you or whatnot or would like to be in contact with you. So uh, where can we find you on like Instagram? Because I feel like that's the main. Yeah, I think Instagram. You can, I'm open to DMs about anything. People do uh, DM me from mm-hmm. Boston, even how do you even code? Because they knew me, I didn't code. They, DM ah, how do you even deal with the uh, thingy? Mm. So on Instagram you can find me. The link will be down in the description box. I'm just joking. Bon B O N B E E Z Z Y. Okay, thank you so much for, for, for coming out and thank you so much for having me. <laughs> thank you for having me and thank you. Maybe I will start uploading content. Please, thank you. Please, so, please. we need so more nice. tech. We need more tech like YouTubers. 
in South Africa. Oh, thank you so much. Uh, like, yeah, okay, now you must upload. Like, yes, we now I must also come to your channel. I'm, so, I will give you my message. Okay, thank you guys. Bye.